Okay, it's always an exciting day when new archery gear comes. Um, it's especially a lot of fun when the box says border on it. What I got today is a set of 51 hex sevens for my covert hunter. Um, The other limbs I originally had gotten were 55.6, close to almost 56 pounds at my draw on my scale. I got talking to Sid the other day, and he said that he had the second set of Covert Hunter limbs that he had made that came in right around 51 pounds at 28. I just had to jump on that, so today they showed up. As usual, Border limbs come in probably the nicest padded case you can get with a, a limb. I mean, most limbs come with a, a cheap slip case. This is actually a very heavy grade slip case, very nicely done. My other limbs, the, the heavier ones, these, oops, were the carbon finish with the covert coming through. These are a flat to satiny type black. Covert Hunter pops through. Beautiful writing. Try to hold it up. Get a view. Again, these are 51 pounds and I'm going to do a lot of experimenting with this bow. I wanted the lighter limbs first off because I'm working a lot on my form. Secondly, because for 3D shoots, I really want to be able to command the bow a little bit. Also, with the Covert Hunter, it's packing so much more wallop, I don't need that kind of weight. I mean, my 56 pound limbs, I would hunt practically anything in North America and maybe even up to the Big Plains game in Africa with that limb right there. The 51 pound limbs, I haven't chronoed them yet. We're gonna, we're gonna compare two different strings. We have an endless, BCYX from Chad, Champion Bowstrings, on here right now. We also have my Flemish that I'll give more information on. This is off my heavier limbs. Once I get this all tuned in and get it set up, I'll put this string on and we'll put on a sound meter and a chronograph. We'll see what we get. What I wanted to show was, I've been playing with it a little bit, how the Covert Hunter really, really is a very versatile bow in that it, it's it requires a slightly stiffer spine than you would think, but I'm gonna shoot a 340 grain, I mean a, a, a 340 spine and a 400 spine arrow, both with 225 up front, both cut to 29 and a quarter with the insert. And I wanna show you how um, well the bow handles different spines. But I just got lucky. It, it's tuning, I could shoot either of these arrows, but I'll, I'll, I'll shoot both of them and I'll tell you what I picked and what for. First we'll shoot the 400 spine. This one weighs right at 500 grains, okay? When I tied my knocks on, I gave a very square bottom on the bottom one because I really, I used to come up and I maul the bottom knock with my tab. And what I was getting is I was torquing my string doing that. Now by having a little bit of a, I wouldn't call it, it's not much of a notch or anything like that. I'll try to show it on the camera a little bit. It's just square enough that my tab just slides right up and stops. And it just makes a very nice stopper. Okay, this is the 400 sp um, spine. This is the 340 spine. And we're going to go down there, and again, I'm just shooting for a line on a block target. Now, if we look at these two shafts, here is the 400 spine. It's dead, dead on. I mean, it doesn't bear shaft any better than that. Here's the 340 spine. 
it's only slightly tail right. Definitely you could run it. Put feathers on it, it would, it would work fine. But this is a 530 grain shaft versus the 500 grain shaft. So 30 grains at 51 pounds. I'm still at that 9 point something grains per pound, which I think would be a bit flatter. Plus it is flying just perfectly straight. So we'll keep moving on. Give me a second. Okay, at this initial stage, I've decided to run with the 400 spine. Cut the 29 and a quarter, 225 up front, 500 grains. I need to get outside, do some farther bear shafting, of course, play with knock height and brace height. The brace is a tad high right now. I don't know how much this BCYX is going to stretch in, but it's got about an eighth of an inch to drop before I'll be happy. Um, I just wanted to shoot a couple arrows show you how quiet the bow is, then we'll move outside for some, some more shooting. Um, first initial impressions, the bow tuned so simply, so quickly, I couldn't believe it. Um, it's, I pulled the shaft out of a, a pile that some of my conventional limbs run in 56 to 60 pounds, my Hex 6's 54 pound limbs, like those arrows, this bow is eating them up at 51 pounds. So again, it, it's showing me that it's making a lot more energy than it would. It, it certainly feels. The bow only feels about 45 pounds once you get it back there. Very, very smooth. I'm coming off a very light training bow and it still feels Super smooth. And I just shot a tiny little group with it, but again, it's 12 yards, so I hope I can shoot a little group. We'll move outside. Thanks for looking. Sid, Sid, both of you. I mean, I just don't know what to say. Fantastic stuff. Thank you. Okay, here we are with the Endless. This is a BCYX, made of BCYX from Champion Custom Bowstrings. There's the string specs. We're shooting a 51 pound border, Covert Hunter, Hex 7 bow, 503 to 505 grain arrow. The bow is braced right around 7 inches, it's as much as the string will give me. I'd like to get it down a little bit. But here we go, first arrow. Second arrow, watch the sound meter. Third and last arrow. Again, this is 51 pounds with 505, 503 grains. Very consistent. Three shots. Average 204. Smoking. Thanks for looking. Okay, here we go. Only difference is this is a Flemish string from Champion. There's the build specs on it. Same bow. Make sure the knock is tight because that really does up the sound. We got a 
plane going over top. Okay, first shot. Second shot. Third shot. Two oh three. Okay, guys, it, the end results to me aren't that big of a difference between Endless and Flemish. Chad at Champion Bowstring certainly how to build a bowstring. Did a great job. The strings were within two feet per second. Sound, I haven't looked at the meter yet, but to be honest, I'm sure that it's going to be negligible on, on on what the sound is between the two. Um, again, Champion Bowstrings, Chad, thank you so much make a fantastic bowstring. To the guys at Border, I just can't thank you enough. I mean, honestly, this is a 51 pound bow that is performing like a 60 pound recurve. It's taking a 500 plus grain arrow, um, 505 grains, 503 grain arrow, and throwing it at 200, 200 plus feet per second. That's something that's really incredible. And I'm not pulling it 30, 31 inches either. I draw 28 and a quarter, 28 and a half now. Um, these arrows are cut at 29 here with a quarter inch for the brass insert. Um, when it comes to high quality custom performance bows, Border Archery is where it's at. Um, if you're looking for a great custom, check them out. The finish on these limbs is beautiful. Everything on them is done so well. The bow is just gorgeous. Um, again, I, I couldn't be more pleased. I couldn't be more pleased. For now, we're gonna keep the Flemish string on, um, keep the endless for a backup. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. So again, I really appreciate you watching. I appreciate everybody's time. Champion Bowstrings, thank you, Sid and Sid. You guys are the best, man, thank you. Right in there. Thanks, man.